fun times we had I hope you smile And know that through the good Go and sign Go and sign? Yeah, I'm going to cry 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 Lean your heads the other way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Pode chorar. Eu tô aqui. Get it. Sign those papers. Deixa eu ver. Não, eu tenho que assim, bastante para assinar. Tá, olha, ó. Dá pra ver o almoço? Question that talks a little bit about where you're going and why did you decide to go there? So I'm going to OBU, Oklahoma Baptist University, and I decided to go to this university because the program is really good and it's like what I dream in. <laughs> and uh, did you did you have any other options or was Oklahoma your first choice? Yeah, I had other options. But I, I chose this one because I like it. I like the coach. I like the girls. When I was like in my visit, like the thing that I looking for, that I was looking for, was like a volleyball, and like school, and both are like perfect to me. What do you plan to study over there? Uh, psychology. <laughs> <laughs> And how is how exciting is it for you that you get to continue your volleyball career? I Wow. I'm shaking <laughs> like totally. This is passing that for me. Sorry. It's like for me, like the that I'm international. I'm from Brazil, and wow, just to come to the college was like a great experience for me because I can speak English now, <laughs> so I try, <laughs> as like steps, but now I can feel that it's like a, it's an important, how can I say, step of my life now, it's like university, psychology, <laughs> volleyball, <laughs> study, study, play, play, I really like this, and I'm, I'm sure that my parents is proud, and glad. Okay. How would you sum up your career here at WNCC and what has it meant to you being a Cougar? How would, you, how would you sum up your career here at WNCC and then what has it meant to you to be a Cougar? Wow, I know Coach is not here, but I, I don't want to cry. It was, it was an amazing experience, like be part of this program, being a Cougar with the girls, we're like a family, including Forever Strong, the first, like the first, my first year here, like my first season, Fati, thank you Fati, and now community, like dorm parents, and I really miss that, because I know the life in university is hard, I need cook. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just happy and sad because I know Scott's Bluff is really different than Brazil. But when I came here and I saw, wow, let's go. It's like, <laughs> And I meet everybody and I did like a lot of friends that helped with my English, that helped like with my volleyball, helped me like be a better person. Like I'm really nervous, I'm really like, but now I'm more calm, yes. <laughs> good job, <laughs> and I want to say thank you Patti for everything, 
Trust in me. And don't give up on me. You're the best. I'm going to go to the University of Texas at San Antonio. Um, it's, their program's really great. I know their school is great. Um, from the very beginning, they were really the number one on my list. And, um, you know, they were on, they were, you know, contacting me and contacting me. And they were the ones that were really, like, on me, just like coach. And so that was kind of a, another reason why I chose there because, um, from the very beginning, they wanted me, and um, when I went on my visit, it was just perfect. The girls were great. The coaches are great. Um, honestly, I was like, man, how am I going to leave here? Because the coaches are amazing here, and, I mean, they've got a great coaching staff, and um, their system's the same. The way they run practice is the same, so that, you know, it's going to be more comfortable for me. Um, you know, warmer weather. I'm excited about that. <laughs> um, but it's, it was just a perfect fit for me, and that's why I chose UTSA. And it seemed like just yesterday I was saying boom, shawala, wala with you in high school, and now you're moving on to Division One. How exciting is that for you, that you fulfilling your volleyball dream? It's, um, it's crazy because, you know, I really I wasn't planning on playing. Um, I don't know, I'm getting emotional right now. Um, <laughs> I, you know, I was just planning on going to Wyoming where my brother and sister went and play intramural sports, you know, for fun. But um, I remember I was down at State Volleyball and, you know, I was like, really, do I really want to be done with this game, you know? So I, you know, I text coach and my coach, she still want me. She's like, of course. I'm like, okay, sign me up. I'm ready to go. And, you know, ever from that one decision, it's made my journey amazing. I mean, the people I've met, everything. The experience is great. Field of study. I'm gonna do athletic training. Do you ever think you'd be at the level, especially like your second year? Because I'll be honest, a lot of people say, "Well, what about the Gearing girl? Do you think she'll pan out?" Yeah, you know, it's um, it's an amazing um, experience to be in. I know I. It's crazy to think because I honestly didn't think I would be where I am today. But, um, you know, with all the support I get from everybody, it's really helped me push through these two years. And, um, I mean, you know, there's always those doubters that you want to prove wrong, but um, the support outweighs the doubters, so that's nice. Did you? think or know when you started the season that you'd be running a 6-2 and you'd get to play setter along with somebody like you did like get to your left? Yeah. Um, you know, the first year I was like, oh, I got my work cut out for me, you know? Because um, I remember the very first day Louise and I met, she we were at summer camp and she came down and I was like, oh. I just knew, I'm like, oh, I'm going to love her, you know? And We've pushed each other, we've made each other grow. It's It's been a great experience to set with Louisa. You, you spent two years here at Denver CC, now you're going up to Division One. You're probably, not too many gear in high school kids mm -hmm. go to Division One. so what's that mean to be probably one of the select few of the, to go to a Division One program? You know, it means a lot. I really, um, again, thank the Panhandle and everybody in the community um, for being behind me every step of the way, um, you know, and I'm going to go down there and I'm going to work as hard as I can to, 
you know, make sure to make my town proud and continue on the tradition. Is there any one day you do not work out? So you're always in the weight room? Yeah, there are. I, it's a hard question. I, I have to take days off, you know, but... I, yeah, I have to take days off. Yeah, I agree with that, but... I love the weight room, that's for sure. What's your biggest memories from your two years here? What, 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 what's it going to be like when you... After all the friends you met here, what's it going to be after May when they start partying? How hard is that going to be? It's going to be tough. I mean, um, the short period of time we have here, we use it so much. I mean, it doesn't even take like one month for us to become a family and a team. And um, I know everybody's, you know, go their separate ways, but we'll always have each other. And. No matter how far away we are, we'll always have each other. Sum up being a cougar. What's that? Sum up being a cougar in your eyes. Oh, goodness. <laughs> you know, it's one of the most... It's very proud to be, you know, able to say I'm a cougar. And, um, you know, I believe that we are part of the best programs in the nation. And to be able to say that we're cougars is, means so much. I mean, I'm sure people have an idea of what we go through, but, you know, we go up and down and our conditioning and everything. We break as a team, we build as a team, and that's, you know, we cry as a yeah, team. we cry as a team, we we cry. you know, it's, the experience here has been just so surreal, it's, it's amazing. You know, she's not here, what's coach me to you? Don't leave with these questions. Sorry, Mark. I <laughs> doubt do you. <laughs> um, that's a hard one. Yeah. Your wife promises that you are not going to ask those hard oh, questions. All right. Um, that's radio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she means the world. Um, because, you know, I was like, she contacted me and she's like, oh, you want to play? And, no, I think I'm going to be done, you know, and she's like, no, I think you should come play, and, um, I mean, she was just so persistent and would not stop, and, um, if, if she would have given up on me, I wouldn't be here today, so, I thank her, and I thank Fatsy, and Clever, I miss Clever, but, um, I'm grateful to have, be able to be a part of this program, and, um, able to be coached by the amazing coaches here. Listening, that's when you. Hey, <laughs> 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 um, First question, tell us a bit about where you're going and why you decide to go there. Um, I'm going to California State University. I decided to go there. Um, first, because I love it. Um, my visit there, the girls are great. I like the program, like the university, the school, um, and Coach G is there. So. I think that was one of the main reasons for my decision. So how exciting is it for you to be able, A, to go to warm weather, and B, to play for Coach G again? I forgot that reason. <laughs> warm weather was a top reason too, actually. Um, well, the warm weather, I cannot wait for that. Um, it was a great experience with the cold, but I'm good in warm weather. Um, <laughs> Coach G, she means a lot for me, so I'm very excited. 
um, to go with her again, and I, I don't know what to say. And how exciting, I guess, is it a sense of pride to know that you, as well as the rest of the sophomores, are moving on to continue to play volleyball? So I guess it's a sense of pride that all of you guys were very talented over these past two years. How exciting is that for you? Very. Um, as Morgan, I would stop playing volleyball if I stay in Brazil, um, because in Brazil we don't have that. Um, we don't have this opportunity to keep playing in a university, um, so I would stop playing. But well, coach asked me to come, and I just decided to um, keep playing. And I'm very excited to just do what I love. What, what, what other schools were you look, looking at? Like, I mean, um, I, I live five minutes from the beach, but. I've never played sand volleyball, uh, but I'm really excited for that. Um, something new. I'm always ready to start and be challenged with something new. So. Have you talked to Fernanda? Or? Yes, you can ask Fernanda. I I've been talking with her. I think she's kind of oh, I cannot handle this girl anymore. She <laughs> has been asking me so many questions, um, and they were there when I was visiting. So, and she's my dorm sister too. So. I mean, I've been talking to her a lot. How, how, how far have you come from setting in Brazil to here, and especially coming here and working with Coach when she was a setter too, and now, like you said, you keep working with her, but just talk about that setter position. Um, that's an interesting story because I was an outside hitter and I was the best outside hitter of my club. <laughs> this thing, okay? I can hit the balls, okay? Um, and then in 2009 I started setting and it was when um, I went to the national team and in 2010 in Brazil and I stayed two months and a half and it was how um, coach got my contact. Um, and since then I've been loving setting and people who don't understand, who doesn't understand um, volleyball don't think that set, a setter is really important, but set, without a setter there's no volleyball. So I love to play as a setter and I love to play for a coach because she was a setter. She was number 14 too. <laughs> so um, yeah, I really like it. Is there any a lot of foreign players think, especially maybe when they're in there, when they come here, what in the world am I doing? But now leaving here, you, after two years, you know what you're doing. I hope. <laughs> I hope I know what I'm doing. Um, yeah. I think, I hope I'm doing the right thing. What do you plan on studying? Um, that area is kind of confusing because here I have biomedical research, but any of the schools that ask me, that offer me, uh, had biomedical uh, research and they had biochemistry and biology, but to be like, um, to play, to be able to play, I'll need to, to study biology right now. But I want, like in the future, maybe if I can, if coach help me. Um, I want to do biochemistry. So. What, what, what would you remember most? <laughs> what was the one thing you, you had to take from your two years here? One thing? The one thing. <laughs> yeah. That's a hard question. <laughs> when they ask one thing about this place, it's like, how am I supposed to say one thing about Hi, this place? Thing. The people that I know over here. That's the one thing that I will remember. Because um, when I first came then in Brazil, I live in Rio, a big city. Um, and they were just like, Scott's Bluff. Where is this Scott's Bluff? Why Nebraska? And then I was just like, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled the mark. <laughs> and they don't understand how great this experience is. And I mean, I will not change anything, anything. So I think people, uh, the people that I met are the most important thing and the thing that I'm going to remember.
So, so you're going from a big city to a small city, back to a big city, so you ready for the... Always ready. <laughs> Always ready to go back to a big city again. And I mean, that will be good too because I will be closer to home. Because um, I can fly home like easily. I mean, I'm going to miss here a lot. But it will be great to be like closer, if that is possible, to home. And from Morgan, I got one more question. You're going down to Texas, and you'd be away from your family, who's had one, one of the biggest ban bands. What's that going to be like? Yeah, it's you know it's going to be weird, with not like looking over and not seeing my big old fan base every game. But um, I know hopefully they can come and fly down and watch a few home games. But um, yeah, I'll definitely miss that for sure. Oh, you know. <laughs> You're safe. Right, you know what I'm going to ask you three, folks. Yeah. Oh.